This is Spherelink, the FPV industry's budget option to get some HD digital streamed back in their FPV feed. Today, we're going to put it on the bench. You're going to see just how well it performs and also why this is possibly one of the most frustrating videos I've ever had to film. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu from UAV Futures here. Sorry, my desk is an absolute mess because this video has not gone to plan. I mean, look at this monstrosity on the bench. Have you ever seen an uglier drone than this? Because what we're trying to get working today, this is gonna be my review of the Spherelink. So this is about $60, like the absolute budget, the cheapest you can get for some HD digital. Now it's running open IPC. I was really excited because when I first booted this up and I looked at the image, I was like, that's pretty cool. Then we went for a fly and we started to run into a few problems. So today it's going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you about the unit, then we're gonna go out to the field. And can you please tell me, like somebody watching this, what am I doing wrong? Why isn't this working? Because it just has me absolutely pulling my hair out. So if we have a look at the actual unit itself, I'll put some pictures on the screen as well. You can see it's made up of two parts. For that $60, you're gonna get the VTX on top. So the open IPC, basically VTX, like this is as cheap as it gets. And then also we have this camera in the front. I know it's not mounted perfectly. This is like my test rig. It's got a lot of space in here. I just wanted to get it to work, which is what makes today so frustrating. And then also you can power it off a two to a six S LiPo. It recommends four S. Why do I have another battery zip tied on the back? Well, you'll learn all about that. And then I simply connected this up to my camera. Like it comes with everything you need. And also on the other side, where is this? Nice. With that, you also get a way to look at it. So it comes with this. This is like a little USB receiver unit. We simply connect that up and then uh, let's see if we can get this to work on the bench. What you're going to be able to do is to use your phone to capture it. Now I can hear what you're saying. Stuart, using your own phone as an FPV feed, we've been asking this for ages. What's the latency like? How does it actually look? Well, let me show you. So uh, I'm gonna plug this in here and hopefully we can get this to boot up. Now look, I'm using an Android phone here. This can bind up, I believe, to the Runcam Wi-Fi things, but uh, we're doing it as cheap as possible today. Let me restart this app. Hopefully I'm not still recording. Oh, there we go. Look at this. So we can see uh, right now, here's my hand. Here's my uh, wonderful face right here that's coming through. So the actual image quality, like if I put this on the screen, do a little bit of a recording, like uh, check this out, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two talking to you guys, it doesn't look too bad. So when it was on the bench like this, I was pretty excited. I was like, wow, this is actually streaming really well to my phone. It doesn't look terrible. Let's go fly it. And this is where the problems start. So what you're about to see is my first impressions with this unit going for a flight. And you're gonna notice why over time, this craft is looking more and more like a bit of a Frankenstein quad. And then I'm gonna come back to here and uh, we've got some important info that I wanna share with you. All right, let's do it. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous because it is an absolute glorious day for flying. It's finally stopped raining. We've got them in the FXT Viper goggles, but it's open IPC on like as cheap as you can get. So we're gonna cruise around. I love how this fits in the back actually. Put the phone in, hopefully it doesn't overheat and just find out how good is like absolute bare bones budget HD digital. All right, let's do it. It's probably not gonna show, but you can see we do have an image on the screen it is super dark uh, with all this light so let's put it in here i'm going to start the recording okay we are recording this is where like my wife is going to probably try and call me or something when the uh the drone's way out there let's set this up and get it all focused but i think I think we're good. Like, I'm looking at it. I wouldn't be able to tell that I'm not looking at a pair of box goggles right here. Okay, got my arm switch. The drone's over there, correct? That's correct. Okay, yep. Did you? All right, I'm taking it very easily. Uh, getting a few little judders here and there. Um, I am noticing like, oh, I've lost it. Where are we? You're on grass. I lost image. Uh, let's, let's, let's go investigate because uh, cruising around, I'm glad that wasn't over any water. It just froze. No. So uh, let's, let's find out. Now look, I'm thankful we crashed on the grass and I was just taking it easy. I'm gonna try it again, but I'm not gonna do the recording on the phone just to see if that makes a difference or if it was the range or anything like that. Everyone clear? Yep. Oop. What's up? I oh, know you're at. 
Oh no, it's still getting that little bit of lag. So cruising around here again, this is sort of where I lost it. I'm just gonna go for a gentle fly up this way. Oh, there's Charlie. So I'm right up the back now, near the, oh, I've lost it again. So I'm way up the back near the veggie patch. Let's go get that. Now look, I actually don't feel comfortable flying this thing around. We've had two dropouts. I know what some people are gonna say, Stuart, when it was on the back of your head there, you're gonna get some interference. It's gonna be going through your noggin. There's a lot of water or hot air in there, whatever it's gonna say. But you should kind of expect that with a little bit of flying. Like when you're going behind a tree or something like that, that's kind of what you're gonna get as well. What we're going to do now is that I am going to get Mystery J back here. We're going to be doing some recording. I'm going to run around with the drone. I'm going to see how far we can go. Jay, if you can hold this in the air, watch the recording and let me know when it drops out and I'll take the uh, the drone for a spin. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's start this recording. Let's hopefully fix uh, and then let me know how that goes. So here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm going for a flight. All right, have we still got picture? All right, we're gonna go. Maybe we'll go the other side of the house. Just yell out when it stops. Woo! I'm doing. Look at this. I'm doing some freestyle Maddie flips, or something like that. You know. Okay. Now this was about the distance we are where Jay is now, up there of where this sort of stopped working. You still got picture? Sorry. Okay. I'm just about to, oh, you can see where I am. This is studio. We've gone through quite a lot of the house right now. Um, see if we can make it all the way, even up the sketchy snake side of the house. No snakes today. Did we lose that at all? Not at all. Okay. Did we lose any image? Not at all. Well, why is it when I'm flying around then that it's dropping out? Like. Cause I went right around the other side of the house. It looked like it was lagging or slowing down or anything like that. No, uh, it got a bit blurry like in the corner of the house, but yeah, I don't know what that was really. Yeah, because we just like, before there was nothing between me and there when we're actually flying. And the same thing when I flew down, like my brain had kind of that much uh, hot air in there, right? <laughs> Maybe your noggin won't block the signal. Maybe my noggin won't block the signal. All right, either I've never been so wrong or so right. I did say that my noggin shouldn't be causing too much interference to totally knock out the video, but maybe we're wrong because when Mr. J held it up, you saw we were able to get around the entire house. So this time we're going to do a flight. I feel a little bit better and this is where we're going to decide. Can you actually fly with it? Mr. J is going to hold the receiver up in the air. We'll go for a cruise and find out is this $60 HD digital, actually usable, actually worthwhile getting, or does it still need a little bit more time to cook? All right, let's do it. What do you think, Mr. J? Do you think we're gonna survive? Do you think I'm gonna be able to fly down to the front and back? Or do you think we're gonna drop out of the sky? I'm hopeful. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, just hopeful. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm hopeful because I want cheap digital for everybody. I mean, I get to fly around with the most high-end expensive DJI goggles, but if someone can come in and go 60 bucks, and I already have a phone, and it's usable, like that's what I'm hoping for. But, but we'll find out. Need to be on the this other side of here. Is if you could be standing like just holding it up here, basically. Yep. So I do have to pick my radio up. So this is probably where you'd be having a ground station now. Oh, and I need to start my DVR. So I notice I've got a, I've got a picture. You clear? Clear. Oh, feel like I lost video. Are you holding that up? Yeah. Yeah, I think if I come over here, where's the drone? Yep, to your left. Turn left, left. More yeah, no, left. I'm, I'm waving to myself to see oh, if okay. I can see myself. I get you, I thought you were trying to find it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. 
and I am using the latest update version too. Like I went on to the GitHub, it was a pain. I'll put the link down below to the actual software that we're using. You know what? Let's let's completely close the app. Let's give it. Let's let's do like the hard resets, right? Unplug and replug too. Yes, we will. Force stop, Pixel Pilot. Force stop. I'm going to unplug the drone. That can sit for a while. Now we're going to open. No connection Wi-Fi adapter found. I'm not going to put it away just yet. So maybe that's what's happening. It could be maybe my phone isn't powerful enough and that's why it's sort of stopping while it's recording. But then we're able to walk around and show that recording when you were doing it as well. Mm. Work, please, I want to fly this. Okay, we have video right here. La la la, okay, we are now recording. Let's pop that in here. Maybe it's a really sensitive USB cable. So any slight jitters, it might muck the signal up. Now I've got mine directly wired to the balance lead in here and Jay's suggesting that maybe somehow we're losing a little bit of voltage when we're turning it on. I do only have it on a 4S, it can go up to a 6S. I'm gonna go and get a 6S battery, plug it in, just hope that maybe on the off chance for some reason that that makes a difference. So in the sake of testing, let's do that. We'll be right back and see, is it gonna work with a 6S battery? Okay, I have a 6S pack in here. It does recommend a 4S, like you can power it off that. Let's, please don't explode. All right, that's so far no smoke. Okay. All right, I, I can see myself. Let's start recording. Start, hold this for a second. Don't let me forget that battery for the lawnmower. Okie dokie. Okay. Picking this up slowly. All right, I'm back. I can still see me. Yes. Okay, you ready? Ready. Frozen. Have I? No. I haven't got. Have I got reception? Ah, oh, why don't I have a? What's going on here? Come on, drone. Come with me, Jay. Now I don't have reception. There we go, there we go. Okay, but now we're gonna have to wait again. Man, what a nightmare. Soon this battery is going to go flat as well, I bet. Something will say low battery. Oh, it actually picked us back up. Sweet. Did it? Please. Come on, you got to come with me, bro. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready. We haven't lost it yet. Or have we? I feel like I feel like we've already lost it. Yeah, come with me. Like it's already frozen. Yeah, I'm not here now. <sighs> That's it. I don't know what what else you want me to do, guys. Like I am trying here without destroying some stuff. Here's my plan, right? I don't want to do this. This is frustrating me. I wish it would just work. But for you guys, and I hope you appreciate it, members button is down below. What we're going to do, we're going to put a separate battery power source on here so it can't be interfered with. It's not connected to the actual drive system of the drone because it is happening every time we throttle up those motors for some reason, it's dropping that video. So we're going to power it by this and just see, see can we actually get a flight from it? Because I want it to work. We'll see how we go. I'm frustrated, but let's do it. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Let's fly it. Yep, good. Lost it. <laughs> okay, so it's just scuffed. Yeah. All right, that just, that's, uh, I don't know, well, what is causing that? That's completely different, like, power system. I don't even know how far away, four feet. Let me stop the recording. 
I thought that was going to be it. Like, I was like, okay, I could see some sort of logic. Like, maybe it's getting interfered with. Someone in the comments let me know. Now to run this through my phone, I want to mention too, we're using like the Pixel Pilot app, the latest version. I'm going to link it down below, and that is the straight download link if you need to get it, because I know for some people, GitHub can be a little bit confusing following it and then going through the releases and the actual assets and all that sort of stuff. So if you want the open IPC app, the direct download link that I'm using, it's going to be in the description down below. Just thought I'd I better put that part in too. All right, so with that out of the way, I have to say, for me, this, it was like meant to be the chosen one. You know that, that scene when Anakin's yelling and they're like, Obi-Wan's telling him he's meant to be the chosen one? Like, we want cheap HD FPV digital. This, I feel like in its current setup, is just not working for me. I do not know why, but on the flip side, I feel like there is some definite promise here. I am very excited about maybe trying this with like a dedicated receiver unit because I don't know what the issue is. Why is it freezing? when I'm going to fly. When I walked around the house, it was totally fine. When I ran it on a separate power source, in case there was some, um, some sort of power interference, it still got that issue when I went to take off. I had no confidence in doing this. I could fly about three feet and lose the video feed. So overall, I have to say, reliability at its current state, I am not recommending this at all. However, from what I've seen from Open IPC, I think this is going to be a big wake up call for the industry. Just if you can get them this cheap and iron those bugs out, it's going to be great. And also mixing it and marrying it with one of those like receiver units you can get for run cam and stuff like that with the HDMI out, maybe you're gonna get a lot better mileage because at the moment streaming it to my phone, I don't know what the issue is because it just wasn't working. Like, tell me here, this is why I'm really getting confused. Why I was able to walk around the house, but then when I went to fly, it wasn't working, but we put it on a different power system. Like, what, what's going on there? I don't know. It's really frustrating. It's been pulling my hair out. This video has taken far longer. But at the end of the day, look, it's $60. I had no luck with it. But I do think in the future, I'm going to put this on some different systems with a different receiver unit. I'm going to put the phone to the side and we're going to see if we can get some better results. Okay, put your comments down below. What was I doing wrong? If you'd like to support this channel, uh, it is greatly appreciated. Things don't always go to plan here, but we wanted to sort of do some follow-ups. Even though I didn't want to put a different power source on here, we did it for you guys. So if you can appreciate these videos, that member button is down there. And as always, happy flying.